Okay, today we're gonna do an experiment called Twirly Whirly Sunspots. And this is a model of what the sun surface is like. And how we do this experiment is we grab some milk. We're gonna pour this milk into this plate, just like that. We're gonna let the milk settle for just a minute, okay? Now here we have, we're gonna pretend that this is the surface of the sun, but we know that the sun isn't just one solid color. We know the sun has different colors. We know that there are sunspots on the sun that are darker, cooler spots on the sun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some yellow food coloring and we're gonna take some red food coloring, okay? And we are going to put this in the center. We've got a drop there, a drop here. Okay, we've got some drops there. And I'm gonna put some red drops. Now, for the purpose of this experiment, what I want you to do is I want you to get a sheet of paper. And I want you to draw this exact, what you see here. I want to see the picture. I want you to see the colors, that there's yellow spots, okay? I'm also gonna put a little bit of pepper in here, okay? I'm gonna put pepper right in the center of this, okay? Now, I'm gonna have you pause this video, okay? And I'm gonna have you draw this. And when you're done drawing, I want you to unpause the video. Okay, welcome back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Q-tip dipped in dish soap. And I want you to really watch what happens, okay? What happens with the colors here. Okay. Notice the colors. Notice what happened in here and how the colors are kind of melting together on this, okay? We know that the surface of the sun is not just one color. We have sunspots and solar fla flares, and those sunspots are the areas that appear darker on the surf surface of the sun. And the reason they're darker is because they're cooler than all the other parts of the sun's surface, all right? So if I just keep this here for a little while, then you will see how all these colors kind of mold together and melt together. And that's exactly how the sun is. It's not one solid color. And if you look at the surface of the sun, we know that nothing can live on the surface of the sun because of the way that the sun is. And it almost looks like it's boiling at some points, especially with those solar flares. But take a good look at this and take a good look at what this picture is. And when I stop this video, I want you to then draw another picture in your notebook of these colors and how these colors could look like the surface of the sun. You've got these different colors here and here, and those could show cooler parts and maybe some of these warmer parts right here, okay? Some of these could be those solar flares. All right, so go ahead and stop your video and make sure that you have drawn this like you are supposed to.